for me, I don't really have a, a um, practice or a routine that I have for alternate picking. Uh, a lot of it is in my hand position. I choke the pick off really, really shallow so there's not a lot of um, uh, material sticking underneath my hand. And I also keep the pick so that it's, it's kind of, it's, it's almost parallel to the string, but not, not too much. Some people, when they have this, the pick parallel, it's harder to pick the string. I have it just a little bit turned so that it, it, it almost nudges the string over. The other thing, too, for me with uh, some of the picking patterns that I have, uh, they would just be totally inaudible if there wasn't the palm muting technique that I use myself. Um, I like to put the, the bridge of my hand right here, the meat of it, right across the bridge of, of the pickup, I mean, the, um, the bridge there, and, and just kind of roll it forward to dampen the strings. It's different different uh, amounts that I roll it forward to, to deaden the strings. Like if, if I, the more that I go up there, sometimes I'll just completely choke the string off. I can train the consequences. I can't I can't start a pattern if there's if there's four notes in there and I'm doing three notes and I want to down pick on on the the alternate where I'm going to, because of the timing I'm going to do the fourth note it's going to be the same thing it's going to be an up pick on the fourth note if I want a down pick and I go down up down down it's going to the timing is going to be a little bit suspect when I when I go from uh, from string to string uh, sometimes I'll start with an up pick and then go down so I try and keep it as flowing as possible in between notes and the other thing too is I cheat a lot when you're asking me how I go back and forth between strings. Um, I'll anchor my finger either on the pickup ring or on the strings. And, and that's kind of the muscle memory in my hand will tell me how far it is from string to string. Something like that. The, the injury that I had was called Saturday Night Palsy. And the, muscle that comes across the top of your hand here. Um, I had a nerve injury that it was pinched inside of my, my bicep here on the radial ulnar nerve. And it, this muscle here stopped uh, communicating with, with the nerve. So uh, when my hand was in this position, so the palm was facing up, I could pull the muscle up this way, I could close my hand and everything like this. If my hand was in this position where the palm was facing down, I couldn't do nothing. It just hung like that. So because the guitar, um, in this position, you know, the palm is facing up, you would think that something could happen, and it was fine going this way, but when I had to pull my hand back down this way, I couldn't get the muscle to pull this way. So some of the things that I did when I was trying to rehabilitate my arm, and, and this, is, this would be, I mean, for any guitar player who's injured their arm and they think it's the end of the world, it's not. Sometimes you just have to, you know, learn how to play again. I did a lot of physical therapy, which is a lot of stretching exercises. A lot of gripping exercises, a weird wheel that they had. It was like a mesh thing, and you just do these gripping exercises. So having said that, as the muscle came back, um, I just started doing basic picking patterns, you know, all the block-headed stuff you learn in the beginning. Um, it was just, just stuff like I couldn't do any of that because, you know, and, and I would stop as soon as I made a mistake. Start again. Just keep going over and over again. Some of the things that my teacher had shown me, the guy's name is Rick Flouting, and he's done uh, some orchestration work with the London Philharmonic Orchestra. He's a jazz player and, and a classical player. He may not be you know, super renowned or anything like that, but for me, he was really good and had the right attitude. I, if I'm going to go and put myself in the hands of a teacher, I don't want to be with some guy that's going to show me something wrong in the first place. The thing for speeding up for me was pulling my fingers in this way and also not holding on here. And um, another thing, too, for fingering is, you know, I was going at, uh, across the frets like this, and he had said that if I turn my hand this way, it'll be better for me. Because my guitar hangs really low, it's kind of hard to, to change that, but I try and do it as much as I can to discipline myself. When I was in Metallica, I, I had brought this riff to them that I had invented, and nobody had ever seen this before. It was called Spider Riff. I did. Stuff like that because it's it's so so it's so much easier instead of going because you're you're the, taking your fingers off the one string and going to the other string. There's going to be string noise. Also, the timing. 
Basically, my style is, I, I play a lot of pentatonic stuff, I guess, that's what it's called. Just, a, just that old blues style, because that's basically what I learned. I think that's part of a pentatonic scale. And, and then, that, that's basically all those scales, so if I did it really slow up here. This weird thing where I, where I kind of bar with my little finger, I go. 